Welcome to Scordy Social Presentation Overview. In this video, we're going to talk about Get Started. Connect your social media profiles, upload images or videos, create your first post, after which we're going to move forward to the calendar future, the post group future, the history panel, and the social media assistant future. Let's get started. When you first start with Scordy Social, we are going to get on the Get Started page. Here, I'm going to get three tests. The first one is to connect your social media profiles. To get it done, you can simply click on the task or click on the button from the left hand bar. This time, let's use the task. Here is your social profile page. This is the place where you can manage all your social accounts. To add one, click on Add the social media profile button. You are going to get a lot of options to choose from. A Facebook page of group, Google My Business, Instagram business page, LinkedIn page, LinkedIn person, or Twitter. A really important thing to keep in mind is that you need to be the administrator of the profile you wish to add. If you want to add a group that you are the administrator of, You'll not be able to do so and you'll receive a message stating this. Let's start by adding a Facebook page. You're going to be redirected to the next step, which is to link the account to the social media platform, in this case, Facebook. Once linked, you're going to be redirected back where you can connect the profile. Now your profile has been connected. You're going to see some details such as the name, profile type, who added it, and when it expires. This is not available for all social media profiles as some of them need to be reconnected where others don't. The last options are to reconnect or delete the social profile. The next step is to upload images or videos. Again, I'm going to click on the task link. Here is your media library. This is where you're going to organize all the assets that you are going to use on Squadly Social. To add a file, you can simply drag and drop the files or click on the upload button. Once you've uploaded the image, you can start organizing them by hovering over my media folder, click on the gear icon and make a subfolder. Let's call it technology. Now this folder is empty. You can either upload images here or go back to my media Select the image and use the move option to put it in the technology folder. Besides this, you can also search for free stock images. Let's search for a laptop image. All images that you find can be used for both commercial and personal usage. Once you selected the image that you want, you can select the folder where you wish to save it. As we search it from the technology folder, it's already selected. Now, for each image, you can set up a suggested post text, add file notes, and also add search keywords. This is going to be much easier to find the wanted images in your media library. At the end, you have a lot of details about the image, where it was saved, when it was uploaded, its size, width, height, the author, and source. The last task from the Get Started process is to create your first post. This can be done through the Create a New Post option from any page from the Scorely platform. You can also start it from your media library using Post button. Here, the description that you used before is going to be automatically added as a description on the post. When you create a new post, you can always save it to the calendar or the group. At this point, we are not going to cover it more in depth as we did that on the next point on the calendar future. So make sure to check it out. The calendar is the easiest way to manage, view and schedule posts which can be accessed from the left hand bar. From the top right corner of the calendar, you'll be able to see the current week you are in where the current day will be bolded to make it easier to see which day is the day. 
Here, you can change the weeks to either move ahead and make scheduled posts in the future or see what was posted previously on a specific week. We also have a dedicated history section, which we covered in another video tutorial, so make sure to take a closer look at it. Below it, you have the all categories and account selected options. This gives you the ability to sort the calendar and see only what you need. There are two ways of viewing the calendar, by day or week. We'll start with the most used one, the week view. For each day of the week, you can make either a post or a content hint. Let's start with the second one. The content hints are internal notes that will help you to better plan your posts and ensure that everyone on your team is aware of important dates or events. Now, the create post option. You can make as many posts as you want for any day of the week besides the one that already passed. Once you click on the plus post button, the add new post panel will pop up. Here, you'll be able to save it either to the calendar or a group. For this video, we'll save it to the calendar as we have a dedicated one for groups. Once calendar was selected, we can move to the next step, where the post will be sent to. Here you can select the social media account on which it will be sent. Make sure to check out the video about managing your social profiles as well. The next step is to make the actual post. By clicking on the plus button, you can select an image from your media library. Next to it, you can add the text that will be added to the post description and have the option to add emojis, automatically generate hashtags based on the text and shorten links to save characters. This way, you don't have a messy long link. If you want to protect your posts, you can opt for a watermark. Choose the position, background, padding and width. To save you some time, you can set it as default, but please take note that it will be applied for the whole team. The last step is schedule for later option. If disabled, the post will be made right away. If enabled, you can set the exact day, hour and minute when it's going to be posted. Moving to the day view, we can see that each hour of the current day is split into 15 minutes increments. To add the post here, you'll have to hover over the time you want and click on the add post button. This will open the add a new post panel. It works exactly the same as presented earlier, just that the day, hour and minute are already set up for you. So all it remains to do is to add the image and text. The post groups help you easily organize your posts. You can consider them as categories. On the left hand side, you can view a list of all your groups and also how many of the posts inside them were being approved. At the bottom of the list, you can create a new group. Here, you can set the name where to be posted, how many times to be repeated, and the status draft or approved. Here you can create a new post and add it to the group. Please keep in mind that you don't need to do it from here. You can do the same thing from anywhere from the platform using the create a new post button. Once you are happy with your post, you can approve and schedule it. When a post is approved, it will be moved from draft to the approved tab. They are going to stay here until it's published and transferred to finish sending. Or you can use the end schedule button and send it back to draft if you want to further edit it. You can also change the position in which the post will be published by simply drag and dropping them. You also have the option to edit it. Copy it as a new post or simply delete it. In this short video, I'm going to present you the history section. This is the place where you can see all the posts that were made through Scorely Social. On the top side, we have filters such as all successful, failed, or deleted posts. Besides this, you can filter by most recent or least recent posts made. 
Next, on the right side, you can select an exact date to see which posts were made in that period of time. On the left hand bar, you can see all the social media accounts that are connected through Scotty Social. And also a number next to it to see how many posts there were made. Clicking on it, it will open a panel next to it through which you can see all the posts that were made on the exact date and hour. Besides this, some analytics such as comments, likes, shares and impressions are present for this post along with their status. Not the least, you also have the option to view the post. With the social media assistant, you can search for new articles and post them on your account. Once you access it from the left hand bar, you can choose the period to search for. For example, 24 hours, one week or one month. And also you can choose the country. Once you chose the wanted filters, you can start searching for your posts. The resulting post can be scheduled and sent to the calendar or to a group. We have dedicated videos covering both features. If a post is missing an image, you can add yours from the media library. And if you don't like it, you can remove it. 